Well, that was fast. It quit recording within a matter of okay, seconds. Okay, well, just cut <laughs> off the freaking recording within a, been about like a minute or less. That... <laughs> See what I'm talking about? The world I'm living in doesn't want me to talk I about it. I talk about the darkness. I'm going to be stare at looking right at it to watch it just quit for no reason. a lot of all strange sudden. experiences in my life. Seriously, though, I've been getting why, followed exactly. around everywhere I go. Every time I go out like, doing, like, DoorDash or something throughout my life, I end up running into, like, I mean, it makes me wonder if I'm not, like, on bad days. Just sound crazy. I end up, uh... Look, I'm not even sure how to describe I've this. I've had a lot so of really I mean, strange uh, experiences. Like, it's it's almost unbelievable. Like there's been a very... Like, you, I don't... I just sound like, like I'm nuts even talking about the shit that I deal with because it's amount of so incredible. Like dark forces have been kind of screwing with my life. Most people wouldn't even for, believe for it for a long time. It just sounds like I'm nuts, like I'm hallucinating or some shit. But at first, it was like I get things that screw with me on a fucking regular basis. Like go out door dashing, and I end up getting followed around everywhere I go. I end up with, uh, like, front and behind, like, I get, uh, like, on bad days and stuff, like, oh, I don't know, I, I guess I can give some examples, like, for instance, I might have a day where there's a whole bunch of orders that come in, uh, and the things will coincide, like, synchronicities, you know, like, uh, an offer will come in for an alcohol delivery or something for $6.66. And the address is fucking 666 or 665 or 667 or something. I'll look at the fucking car in front of me. The goddamn license plate says 666 and fucking sympathy for the devil starts playing on the radio at the same fucking time. You know? It just automatically stopped recording right after I, right as I was saying that. But yeah, that's the kind of shit that I deal with. These, my electronics will fuck up on me, trying to make recording talking about this shit, and it just keeps shutting off in a matter of seconds or a minute or something. I've had attempts made on my life. M many, many attempts made on my life. All kinds of shit, like, positioned to, like, screw with me in one way or the other. All these people that insert themselves into my life that are just with, like, wicked agendas. Trying to set me up, trying to trap me. You know, shit like that. Or whatever, right? Trying to drag me into, you know, some occult sort of shit. Like, I'm not even kidding, man. You wouldn't fucking, you wouldn't believe the amount of deception and the amount of fucking head games that I have to deal with. The amount of freaking abuse that I deal with. People just screwing with my head. And like, it's clearly like some kind of spiritual attack is what's going on. It seems to be on a pretty regular basis. I'll, here, I'll, I'll use the, my fan here, I've got to, hopefully it keeps working, <laughs> but this is just one example, there's this one dude that would come by, and uh, one time, this was like, I don't remember how many years ago, he sold me this, uh, this fan, right, for ten bucks, and I'm like, sure, I need a, need a fan, right, so, it was summertime, he sold me this fan, and it was a pretty good fan. 
he comes by late, like at some point later, month later or two or something, and he's wanting his fan back. And I didn't want to, you know, give it back to him. I don't even think he offered me money or anything. He just wanted me to give him my, give, you know. He's, he basically started, like, coveting the fan, like, wishing he hadn't sold it kind of thing. And then... You could, I could tell he was getting, like, upset or something. He wanted the fan. And he leaves. And right after he left, the fan stopped working. So I went out. I ended up buying another fan. And he comes over sometime later. The fan is quit working. He comes over again sometime months later or whatever. And he leaves. And right after he left, that other fan quit working. This happened to three different fans in a row. <laughs> I know when I was staying in a motel, <clears throat> he came to visit a couple times. My, uh... My TV box, my power strip, and my external hard drive all quit working at the same time. <laughs> now, every now and then, something happens where it's like the, you know, outside forces or whatever. See, what I've learned is sometimes, like, I, I keep, uh, sometimes when the electronics get fried by something like this, I learned that just to keep them because at some point whatever dark power is making these things not work might just disappear and my stuff might start working again I've seen it happen like I I took that fan to the dump but chances are somebody could have found it at the dump plugged it in it would have worked for them you know no longer in my possession. It's like God and the devil are at work in my life. And it's like I've got some kind of guardian angels that have watched out and protected me, kept me, you know, alive. They warned me sometimes of traps that people tried to pull. Um, there were a couple times, uh, a couple years back, where they, these people that look like the undead or something, I'm seriously, I mean, the closest thing I could, like you could find a picture of people that look kind of like what I'm talking about. I mean, li they literally look like they were a rotting corpse driving a cup behind a wheel. Like, uh, like worse than the absolute worst pictures of, like, meth addicts, you know, that you can find online like that. Like, freaking, like, skin peeling off, like, literally they look like the undead, basically. You ever see that, uh, the prophecy movies or whatever? Or that guy, uh, Christopher Walken playing Gabriel or whatever, he brings dead people back to life to work for him or whatever, to drive for him, right? Yeah, they look like that, only, like, worse, like, you know, old body work behind the wheel. And there were a couple different instances a couple years back where these people, they tried to, uh, basically kamikaze, uh, drive, in, drive into me, and it's like they were just waiting there to, to strike you know this happened a couple times and I heard a voice in my in my head warning me about them so I was able to avoid their attack the second guy the second time this guy almost got me but it was like he was it was like some kind of supernatural force flipped his car around and like it, he was coming straight at me and this dude his car did like a fucking 180 right as he was about to strike and he ended up going into a ditch now my I've dealt with so much fucking crazy shit in my life that when that happened it wasn't the first time 
It was just another fucking day. You get me? I just drove the fuck back to my apartment, sat down, you know, and later on I tried to look it up to see if anybody had reported the, you know, car wreck or anything like that. <laughs> this, yeah. I mean, this is the kind of shit that I... I mean, even in my own fucking family, man, my, my, uh... My second cousin was living uh, in the same apartment complex when I moved in here, right? And right before they moved away, I noticed um, her husband was walking around with a backpack that had fucking Baphomet on the damn thing. Like, literally, I, my whole fucking life, man, I've been just getting followed around and fucked with by people with, like, Baphomets, shirts, and fucking pentagrams, and, you know, just right out in the fucking open. You know, I get fucking followed around when I'm out doing DoorDash. I'll have days when things, you know, when the, when the dark, sometimes it's like I'm protected. And every now and then I even have like really good days where, where it seems like I'm totally protected. Like I got an angel looking out for me or something angel on my shoulder or something and and days like that it's like this darkness just isn't there and I'm able to have some you know success and things go well for me and stuff because that's just the, the way like naturally I think naturally without the presence of this darkness surrounding me that I would be pretty successful in everything I try to do but I'm not because it's like I'm constantly being fucked with by some fucking force of darkness that just follows me around and screws with me in any fucking way it can. And, you know, if I don't got that angel on my shoulder for even one fucking second, those fuckers are coming after me. And it just never ends. You know? And I mean, it's like non-stop weird shit, you know? And I'm, I'm not even kidding, like on good days, when things are going good for me, I'll be making all these deliveries and like every fucking address is like 315, 317, you know, 316 car in front of me has got a license plate with 316 in it and I'm just and I'm making you know customer added a tip 316 or 777 you know some shit like that right and it's like that all day long and I'm getting all these orders from people with like names like by books from the Bible there will be people you know order for Joseph order for Mary order for uh, you know Noah <laughs> on and on and on sh like that and then on the bad days it's like you know order for Damien order for you know Belial or whatever the fuck right <laughs> I'm not even fucking kidding like And there's all this other weird shit, too, like, you know. I mean, I guarantee... This shit's been going on for years, man. I can't even fucking... If I go out shopping or something, I could go to five different stores. I mean, and it becomes all the more obvious, but it's been obvious for years, though, this has been going on. Like, even, even you know, 10, 15 years ago, if I go to five different grocery stores, the same fucking people would be at every single fucking store... Same people, same cars. Fucking, you know, witchy stickers and satanic symbols on their fucking cars and shit like that. No, it was just, it would just go on and on and on. And sometimes I'd try to, I'd like, point out a thing or two here or there. 
everyone just acts, oh, it's just coincidence. It's just a coincidence that some car pulled out in front of us that's got 666 in its license plate. And that that same car is at every single parking lot at every single store we go to. You know? <laughs> oh, it's just a coincidence that if I go, you know, park at a completely empty fucking parking lot at the park, that two minutes later a fucking hundred brand new looking fucking cars pull up with like hundreds of fucking people get out mobbing my ass. Yeah. Oh, just a coincidence. And sometimes it almost feels like everybody's in on it. Like it's some big, like a, like it's a big fucking show being put on for me or some shit, you know? Well, I mean, like, on days when things are going good, it, it's like this. It's like, uh, you know, three, six, I'm seeing 316 and 777 fucking everywhere, basically. Every, almost every address I deliver to is, you know, 316 or 777 adjacent. There's, you know, <laughs> fucking cars and that and their license plates everywhere. And every restaurant I go into. They've got the food ready the second I get there, and I just grab it and walk out. You know, we'll make a delivery, and then in comes another one, and another one, and another one. And on days when shit's going bad, it's 666 everywhere. It's, you know, you turn on the fucking radio, and it's, you know, uh, Sympathy for the Devil's playing on one channel. You change the station, it's fucking, uh, you know, some other fucking song about the devil and change the station again it's some other song about the devil so I turn on my fucking mp3 player you know and I try to pass the fucking car that's driving fucking 20 miles an hour under the speed limit in front of me with the 666 and the fucking license plate yeah dude so I can go deliver some fucking Burger King to Damien for $6.66 or some shit no, dude, I'm not even fucking kidding. Like, that's... And then I end up sitting around in a parking lot for hours and hours and hours and no fucking orders coming in. I'm like, hey, I'm not getting any orders. What the hell? Or or, or it'll just be all this fucking shit that's, like, trying to screw with me, all these crap orders that drop my ratings massively. And when shit's going really bad, I get, like, uh, you know, people mobbing up, fucking glaring at me and shit, getting mobbed everywhere by huge crowds of people, fucking sh shooting dirty looks at me and stuff, and pulling up and revving their engines and fucking, uh, people walking up with satanic symbols and shit all over them and trying to spark up conversations with me and shit. Park my car alongside the road. I'll have fucking, you know, three, four guys in a row fucking creeping up behind me, walking past too close to my car, like, trying to... Well, I see my rant was cut short again. Yeah, every time I take my eyes off the phone, it fucking stops, stops recording. I start talking about this shit. I've been a targeted individual for years. I've had all kinds of fucking crazy shit happen. All the fucking street theater. Get fucking followed around everywhere I go. Things fucking with my, uh, you know. Fucking with my finances. Fucking with my ability to have relationships. I can't even have a fucking relationship. If I do, man if I ever manage to find a fucking girl. Like a normal girl that isn't like some kind of a you know, plant or, you know, sit there to spy on me or some shit. I find a get with some girl and they'll start fucking following her around and fucking with her. And, you know, some girl that... Well, I'll give you an example, right? Uh, 
just I'll, I'll just I'll just make up an example here all right um, like what will happen is like say I get with a get with some girl that you know I don't know like no no guys were interested in her at all like she hasn't got hit on or had anyone in, interested in her in fucking years maybe she's you know 150 pounds overweight or you know, whatever, right? Well, I start dating her. If I start dating her, well, then all of a sudden, everywhere she goes, guys are fucking hitting on her. Trying to hand out phone numbers. All of a sudden, she's got all these new friends showing up in her life. Oh, yeah, this girl. Oh, yeah, she's my new friend. Yeah. And they fuck with they fuck with her, they, they, they draw her away from me, or, or, or just, you know, screw with her every fucking way imaginable. So I don't even fucking hardly try to have a relationship with a woman anymore. Because I know damn well that, you know... She's not going to understand what the fuck is going on. And there's going to be all kinds of people fucking messing with her and she won't even know what's going on. <laughs> you know? She'll start to get followed around by all these fucking people. She'll start to have all kinds of people inserting themselves into her life. You know? That's what fucking happens. I just picked up the phone, I realized, oh no, it's been a few minutes, Let's see if it stopped recording again. It keeps doing that. But yeah, that's, that's what goes on, that's what it's like, it's like, uh... So I end up falling into drinking, and then they try to fuck with me even more, because they think I'm, you know, more, more vulnerable or something. And I just, I end up getting drunk and not giving a fuck and just, because for that, for that little window of time when I'm drinking a little bit, I get to feel like I'm 10 feet tall and bulletproof, like I'm invulnerable, like, uh, get to pretend like I have friends the people around me for the most part aren't really my friends they don't give a fuck about me if anything they're out to get me you know for the most part I don't know sometimes it's like it's like they're trying to recruit me trying to draw me into darkness and other times, it's like they're just straight out to fucking kill my ass. Or torture me or whatever. It gets fucking tiring. It does. God, it's like a hundred degrees today here. Fuck. I just got a f one fan here and windows open. Just like hot air fucking coming in the window. thought about drinking today but I'm not going to. I'm not planning on it now. I need to sober up and get back out and chase the money because bills just keep hitting me and hitting me and hitting me. But in part it's like I wonder why the fuck am I even here? Like why what am I 
working so hard to try and fucking maintain this place to, to, to have this bed to sleep in and everything when I'm just surrounded by darkness all the time around here. I should be trying to get thousands of miles the fuck away from here. But it, whatever the fuck this thing is, man, it's altogether possible it could follow me wherever I go. I mean, I'll be honest, man, one of the dudes that uh, seemed to be trying to, you know, drag me into darkness or something. See, they, it's not always, it's not always like, uh, it's not always like, uh, you know, hatred and abuse. Sometimes what it is, is, uh, it's like a strong attempt to drag me into darkness, to corrupt me, to, to, I don't know, try to drag me into the occult or drag me into, you know, get me in, into drugs or, you know, whatever the fuck, right? Ways to try to corrupt me more, to try to, you know, bring me into the darkness, basically. All your friends show up to be your friends. They're just trying to fuck with you. Trying to fuck you over. Pretending to be your friends so they can, you know, fulfill their mission of... Corrupting, trying to corrupt you or whatever the fuck, right? No, I mean, seriously, I know. <clears throat> what do I know? I know that... That if I started smoking a bunch of weed, eating mushrooms, did some kind of ayahuasca ceremony or something, and got filled with demons, like I, like I was when I was younger. I was fucking... I had legions when I was younger. When I was in my fucking, like, late teens and really early 20s, I was chocked full of demons, man. Just being honest here. So I guess that's kind of how come I know, about, know so much about them is because, like, I know how they think. I know what they sound like. I know how they fucking manipulate people and shit. And I know that if I started doing drugs, started smoking a bunch of weed, doing mushrooms, and got all chocked full of demons, that all of a sudden I would find myself with a bunch of friends, and women would be throwing themselves at me left and right, and, you know, so on and so forth. Being in the darkness has its rewards. I wouldn't have to worry about how my next bills are getting paid because that, just, that would just be fucking taken care of one way or the other. But it's fucked, man. You, you, you let go, you lose a part of yourself, you lose your better nature. takes over your your 
your thought processes, what takes up your mind, what takes up your your presence is this fucking selfish, egotistical fucking just nasty, sadistic fuckhead becomes who you are, basically. That's what's happened to a lot of people, man. <laughs> to reveal the nature of the world we live in, man, that's what's up, you know? We got an epidemic of demonic possession. That's what's up. That's what's going on in the world.